grateful to be here today. That video, wow, I want to borrow that and take it on the road with me. Last year, I was here, and you provided me with an incredible opportunity to talk to you. I told you that I was the once and future mayor of San Francisco. Well, the future is today. As we celebrate the launch of Women's History Month, it is truly an honor to be the first African-American woman to serve as mayor of San Francisco. And it's great to be here with all of you, so many incredible women leaders. The work that you are doing to make the tech industry more inclusive for women, and in particular LGBT women, it is absolutely inspiring. We know that there are challenges that exist between the residents that have been here in San Francisco for so long and this new industry of technology. The issues around income inequality, access to tech jobs for women and for minorities have been challenging, challenging issues that I am prepared to address. In fact, here in the city and county of San Francisco, I am so proud of the work that we are already doing with TechSF, a program that has placed 57% of the participants who were placed are women into the tech industry through the TechSF program. Now we know we continue to struggle and we know we continue to need partners to make sure that this industry is open, accessible, and available. And part of our programs, TechSF, and some of the work that we're doing with programs like Opportunities for All are going to help us get to a better place. And how we do that is opening up the doors of opportunity. And this particular conference, Lesbians Who Tech, you are opening the doors of opportunities to the next generation of women to enter into the tech industry. Now let me just tell you a little bit about why what you're doing is so important and what we are going to do to change the face of technology in San Francisco together. When I was 14, I got a paid internship opportunity. Now let me just tell you, I wasn't dressed as nice as I am today. Sometimes I would talk back and not necessarily answer the phone appropriately. And through a lot of patience, a lot of older people worked with me and just really tried to help me understand how to work in a professional environment. And how there were so many incredible opportunities in San Francisco and where I fit in into those opportunities. Now, yes, I had problems with discipline and yes, I was a challenging kid to work with, but they never gave up on me. They believed in me, they supported me, they encouraged me, they helped me get into college and fill out applications. And here I am, because of the hard work of so many folks in my community, I'm here because people like you invested in people like me for the purposes of making sure that the doors of opportunity were open. That is what this organization is about. That is what this conversation is about. How do we begin to open the doors of opportunity? The program that I launched, Opportunities for All, is a program that provides paid internships to every high school student in San Francisco. And so partnering with the tech industry and other industries in San Francisco, I am going to be looking to all the companies that you work for to get more folks actively engaged in taking under their wing one of those challenging young people who are sometimes difficult to work with for the purposes of exposing them to what you do so that we can grow the industry with more and more and more women from this city and these communities that feel neglected. Now, we know that San Francisco has a number of challenges. We see, sadly, our homelessness crisis play itself out on our streets where people who suffer from mental illness and substance use disorder continue to need the kinds of services that will help get their lives on track. Since I've taken office last year, we've been able to get almost 1,000 people off the streets 
almost 1,000 people who are no longer homeless. We also know we need to build more housing so that people can afford to live here. We see far, yes. So when I put those housing bonds and other things on the ballot, make sure you're registered and you vote for them because we got to start saying yes to more housing and we got to start saying yes to more housing throughout San Francisco. When I think about the time that I spent as a young person and I grew up in San Francisco and then when I was an adult working my first job, where am I going to live? Where can I afford to live? And that was almost 20 years ago. It was still challenging then. We have not built enough housing. Part of my goal as mayor is to make sure that we are focusing on building more housing so that more people can afford to live here, but more importantly, to make sure the next generation of San Franciscans that are growing up here have the option to afford to live here. That is so important for the future of our city. We know that challenges will continue to persist. We know that we have a lot of work to get done. And during the short time that I've been serving as mayor, I've been hitting the ground running. Let me tell you, San Francisco is a tough city. They want it done and they want it done now. And so we're ordering more buses and trains. We're hiring more muni drivers. We want to make public transportation here accessible so that people rely on it more than anything else. We want, yeah. We are working to make our streets safer so that people who are bicycling, people who are walking, people who are moving around our city are moving around safely. We know. We know that we have to do a better job of making sure, especially communities who are disconnected from the tech industry, have a real shot of being able to participate in this amazing industry. And so again, as I told you earlier about Tech SF, it's about recruitment. It's about going into these communities and bringing those folks into these industries and exposing them to all that you have to offer. I am looking forward to connecting with each and every one of you and your companies for the purposes of making sure that young people and folks who want an opportunity in this industry have an opportunity to participate in this industry. And who knows, maybe one day you might be working with the next London breed and don't let her talk back to you. She just, she just needs a little discipline. <laughs> but ultimately, we are going to get to a better place in this city by working together. We are going to get to a better place by not just focusing on making sure that we're successful, we have to open the doors and make sure that everyone else is successful. And making the right investments in San Francisco is an important part of my job as mayor, but it's also important to make sure that I provide opportunities for all of you to get actively engaged and involved in some of the things that we're doing in our city. We are so happy and, and lucky to have such an incredible, diverse city, one that celebrates who we are as San Franciscans, diverse, inclusive, but also we know how to have a good time. <laughs> and as you enjoy the next couple of days of this conference celebrating all things tech, all things inclusive, and all the things that you're going to be doing, I want you to also think about how we can work better together for the purposes of making this industry more inclusive. That is our challenge. We have done some work in Tech SF. You have done some work in your respective companies. But we clearly have more work to do when only 32% of the people who are part of the tech industry in the Bay Area are women. We need to get past 32%. We need to make that more than half. And that requires a deliberate investment, a deliberate focus on these CEOs and a lot of these companies and pushing and encouraging them to hire more women and getting more women prepared to enter these industries. We can do it, ladies. One young lady at a time. One opportunity at a time. And I want to come back next year and I want to look back on this year and say, you know what we did? We're at 57% of the people who are working in the Bay Area and the tech industry are women. That's my goal. So I want to thank you all again for your support and your encouragement and your commitment to just being actively engaged in an industry that 
has been very challenging for women to participate in. All of what you're doing to make this attractive and more exciting is what's going to get more women engaged in this industry. We all know, as I said, that San Francisco has a complicated history with the tech industry, one that can be quite challenging and sometimes has had a negative light shine on it. But seeing all of you here today gives me hope. It gives me hope for the future of what you've already accomplished and what we're going to continue to accomplish by working together. This industry, we're going to change the face of this industry. We're going to change the face of this industry by opening the doors of opportunity and making sure that more women are in this industry actively engaged and really changing how things happen in San Francisco so we can truly call ourselves an inclusive, equitable city for all San Franciscans. Thank you all so much for having me here today.